Part 2. Recipes with White Sauce of a Little Cookbook for a Little Girl. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by 2X Ron. A Little Cookbook for a Little Girl by Carolyn French Benton. Part 2. Recipes with White Sauce. Part 2. The Things Margaret Made for Luncheon or Supper so many things in this part of margaret's book call for white sauce or cream sauce that the rule for that came first of all white or cream sauce one tablespoon of butter one tablespoon of flour one cup hot milk or cream one third teaspoonful of salt melt the butter and when it bubbles put in the flour shaking the saucepan as you do so and rub until smooth put in the hot milk a little at a time and stir and cook without boiling till all is smooth and free from lumps add the salt and if you choose a little pepper cream sauce is made exactly as is white sauce but cream is used in place of milk what is called thick white sauce is made by taking two tablespoonfuls of butter and two of flour and only one cup of milk creamed oysters one pint oysters one large cup of cream sauce make the sauce of cream if you have it and if not use a very heaping tablespoonful of butter in the white sauce keep this hot Drain off the oyster juice and wash the oysters by holding them under the cold water faucet. Strain the juice and put the oysters back in it, and put them on the fire and let them just simmer till the edges of the oysters curl. Then drain them from the juice again and drop them in the sauce, and add a little bit more salt, celery salt is nice if you have it, and just a tiny bit of cayenne pepper. You can serve the oysters on squares of buttered toast, or put them in a large dish with sifted bread crumbs over the top and tiny bits of butter, and brown in the oven or you can put them in as small dishes as they are and put a sprig of parsley in each dish panned oysters take the oysters from their juice strain it wash the oysters and put them back in put them in a saucepan with a little salt about a half a teaspoonful to a pint of oysters and a little pepper and a piece of butter as large as the end of your thumb let them simmer till the edges curl just as before and put them on squares of hot buttered toast scalloped oysters one pint of oysters twelve large crackers or one cup of bread crumbs half a cup of milk the strained oyster juice butter a deep baking dish roll the crackers or make the bread crumbs of even size some people like one better than the other and you can try both ways put a layer of bread crumbs in the dish then a layer of oysters washed then a sprinkling of salt and pepper and a few bits of butter then another layer of crumbs oysters and seasoning till the dish is full with crumbs on the top mix the milk and the oyster juice and pour slowly over then cover the top with bits of butter and bake in the oven until brown about half an hour you can put these oysters into small dishes just as you did the creamed oysters or into large scallop shells and bake them only ten or fifteen minutes in serving put a small sprig of parsley into each pigs in blankets these were great fun to make and margaret often begged to get them ready for company fifteen large oysters fifteen very thin slices of bacon sprinkle each oyster with a very little salt and pepper trim the rind from the bacon and wrap each oyster in one slice pinning this blanket tightly on the back with a tiny japanese wooden toothpick have already a hot frying pan and lay in five oysters and cook till the bacon is brown and the edges of the oysters curl turning each over once put these on a hot plate in the oven with the door open and cook five more and so on put them on a long narrow platter with slices of lemon and sprigs of parsley around or you can put them each on a strip of toast which you have dipped in the gravy in the pan this is the better way this dish must be eaten very hot or will not be good creamed fish two cups of cold fish one cup of white sauce pick any cold fish left from dinner into even bits taking out all the bones and skin and mix with the hot white sauce stir until smooth and add a small half teaspoonful of chopped parsley you can put this in a buttered baking dish and cover the top with crumbs and bits of butter and brown in the oven or you can put it in small dishes and brown also or you can serve it just as is in little dishes creamed lobster one lobster or the meat from one can one large cup of white or cream sauce take the lobster out of the shell and clean it bridget will have to show you how the first time or if you are using canned lobster pour away all the juice and pick out the bits of shell and find the black string which is apt to be there and throw it away cut the meat in pieces as large as the end of your finger and heat it in the sauce till it steams put in a small half teaspoonful of salt a pinch of cayenne and a squeeze of lemon 
do not put this in a large dish but in small ones buttered well and serve at once stand a little claw up in each dish creamed salmon one can salmon one cup of white sauce prepare this dish exactly as you did the plain creamed white fish take it out of the can remove all the juice bones and fat and put in the white sauce and cook a moment till smooth add a half teaspoonful of salt a little pepper and a squeeze of lemon and put it in the baking dish and brown or serve it as it is in small dishes scalloped lobster or salmon one can of fish or one pint one large cup of cracker or bread crumbs one large cup of white sauce prepare this dish almost as you did the scalloped oysters take out all the bones and skin and juice from the fish butter a baking dish put in a layer of fish then salt and pepper then a layer of crumbs and butter and a layer of white sauce then fish seasoning crumbs and butter again and have the crumbs on top dot over with butter and brown in the oven or serve in small dishes crab meat in shells you can buy very nice fresh crab meat in tins and the shells also a very delicious dish is made by mixing a cup of rich cream sauce with the crab meat seasoning it well with salt and pepper and putting in the crab shells cover with crumbs dot with butter and a brown in the oven this is a nice thing to have for a company luncheon creamed chicken or turkey two cups of cold chicken one large cup of white or creamed sauce one half teaspoonful of chopped parsley salt and pepper pick the chicken or turkey off the bones and cut into small bits before you measure it heat it in the sauce till very hot but do not let it boil and add the seasoning about half a teaspoonful of salt and a tiny bit of cayenne or as much celery salt in the place of the common kind put in a large buttered dish and serve or in small dishes either with crumbs on top or not a nice addition to this dish is a half a green pepper the seeds taken out chopped very fine indeed and mixed with the white meat the contrast of colors is pretty and the taste improved end of part two recipes with white sauce